Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. And this video is going to be really, really short. I just want to uh, talk about one particular issue that I've run into in my program of study in the past. And then maybe you are running into the same thing. Uh, this involves, of course, using Jupyter Notebooks, uh, Python, the Dash framework, and MongoDB. Now, if that sounds familiar to you, then you're probably in the exact same program and you're probably dealing with this exact same module uh, where you have a uh, animal shelter database in MongoDB and you have an animals collection and you have to read all of the animals from there and then print them out to uh, a web browser. And so this is the code that you are provided with that is given to you at the beginning of the module. And so here's the problem that I've run into. So after importing, of course, my CRUD module that I built myself and accessing the database through, in this case, my local database that I installed on my own personal computer, which I've got another video about that. You can go ahead and take a look at uh, if you want to. I'll leave a, a card at the end of the video here. Um, and then here, what I'm doing is I'm creating a data frame that is going to read all the records from that particular database using the read all CRUD method. Now my read all CRUD method is really simple. All it does is return a cursor object. That's it. It returns a cursor object of all of the documents in the database. And the problem that I've run into is when I do this, uh, because it, there's no other extra code provided and not really any other documentation provided, and there isn't a whole lot of information online. When I run this, uh, I get this issue here where it just loads forever. And if I scroll to the bottom and open up in a new window, again, I just get loading forever. I can let it sit there for hours and it'll just continue to load. And when you look a little bit more closely at your error list in Jupyter Notebook, you'll see right down here, it says type error, object of type, object ID is not JSON serializable. If you look online and you try to find a solution to this problem, all you're gonna find is a ton of things telling you you need to use a JSON encoder or a BSON to JSON encoder or your own special method that encodes to BSON or JSON or whatever. And honestly, I've tried all those things. None of them really work. They're all kind of a pain to try and implement. Anyways, here is the easiest thing to get this data frame to print, which by the way, if you're having the same issue as me, you can test to make sure that you are in fact getting everything correct. If you type out print DF and then run, you will see all of your information print down here at the bottom. But then of course, underneath that, where it's supposed to have the HTML stuff, it will just say loading forever. And that's super frustrating. And if I'm gonna be honest, it took me days to figure this out. Days, uh, like countless hours, just sitting here combing through all these different online databases. Anyways, without further ado, I'll ex just show you what's up. So I'm gonna get rid of that DF. And then, so here we go. We're just gonna simply type in right here, data frame DF equals DF dot I L O C. And that's gonna be bracket colon comma one colon end bracket and that's it that's it and then hit run and you should see at the bottom there it is our database has populated there we go a whole bunch of different things on the database but it is populated for us and if i open that up in a new window it will cease to be loading and it will actually give us our html title it will give us all of the different database uh, items in it and all the HTML will finally be working. So if you are in the same program as me, please don't despair. This is the easiest fix. And essentially all this is doing is it is removing the object ID from the data frame. Uh, and that's what this means. iloc and then comma one is referring to the, uh, the location of the object ID for this particular object. Uh, and when I say object ID, of course, I mean uh, if we look over here in my MongoDB, this is the object ID right there. That is not serializable. And because of that, it, it throws an error every single time. Uh, it, but it won't tell you that, of course, in Dash, it'll just tell you that it's loading forever and it's super frustrating. So instead, what we do is we just omit this completely from the data frame and then it just never shows up at all. And as you can see, uh, if we go back here, you'll see I've got, again, there it is, it just counts on one all the way down, one through however many, and the object ID is omitted. So hopefully this helps you a whole bunch and gets you on track. Um, if you are in the same program as me, then that means you also have to, at the end of this, uh, it doesn't say it because I deleted it, but it add, uh, you have to add in some sort of a location data uh, for the individual uh, animals that are at the shelter. Uh, I will make a future video about that as well on how to do that because it is 
Uh, super simple, but again, it takes a long time to find exactly what you need. And just like anything else, uh, it is very Python specific uh, and Dash specific. And so if I can be of any service and help you with that, I absolutely will. So uh, stay tuned for that. But hopefully this video super helps you a whole bunch. And if it did, please leave a comment, let me know. Um, and let me know how your program's going too. All right, I will see you in the next video.